Well, China is on a, a rapid path to become the largest and most influential economy in the world. You know, its growth and its population combined is changing the economic geography of the world. It used to be Europe, then it used to be the US, and now it's, it's Asia. And, and China is definitely in, ahead of the others uh, in terms of Asian growth. So it will take a few years, and then you'll see that China will eventually become the largest and most dominant economy in the world. Well, China has an interesting combination. Uh, we haven't seen that uh, so much uh, earlier in, in, in world history. They used a fairly centralized government but with large amount of market thinking. So in a way they combine central governance with market economy and that recipe seems to be working quite well in, in, in that context of transforming the economy. Remember they were a, a developing country a few years ago and now they are rapidly moving into not only the industrial world but into the knowledge world. So I think this, this, this using the Western market economy in a fairly centralized uh, economy has been what's working. Well, we can learn how you can sort of, how you can really energize a, a country, uh, utilizing the economic potential of the country, utilizing the human resources, and also how you use investments in, in the market, because it's, China has been transforming much more than we understand. We think of China as the manufacturing place for the world, where we get cheap goods for, for the Western market. More and more, China is a place where you see the knowledge, knowledge development takes place, and that's, that's where I think the, the, the interesting transformation is happening right now, where they're actually moving away from manufacturing into the more advanced uh, economic sector. And that is actually what the what US and, and Europe has been doing, so we should watch out for them. Well, BI has a very unique role in, with China because BI has for 16 years been working very closely in Shanghai. We have a joint venture with Fudan University, which is uh, the leading university of Shanghai. And we, have, uh, we are approaching 2,000, we have more than 2,000 MBAs, uh, Chinese MBAs coming out of the program there. So in a way, we are building the, the, the executive elite of China now. These guys work for the, the large multinationals in China. Those will be people who will influence the, the, the future of China. But they also represent an enormous network uh, that Norway and China needs because, because politically, it's not working so well right now, so we need to have business networks. And I think the, the BI alumni here has a unique role to play because they are actually in the key position. They're moving up every year. They will be the future leaders of China, and we have educated them.